Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Super Robot Wars J. I'm Sulfur. And before I head to the next map, I had a special request by one of my subscribers, KickCX, if I'm correct. He wanted me to put, uh, well, to try out the, uh, X Estivalis. Since apparently in the show, I've never seen it, but in the show, uh, it blew up before they could do anything with it. So. We'll put Agito in here. Yep, sounds about right to me. Agito, there you go. So the next map, you will be sorted at. Episode 33, Showdown with the Devil Gundam Corpse. Still, I'm really glad to know you're alright. Hey, that's our line. Just when I thought we were done, we received word that the Tinkryu was on the move. And then they said they were going to blow up the world. At first I was like, no, she wouldn't do that. But then she was like, yeah, I am. We also had to fight an incredibly close battle. There are almost certainly leftover traces of the enemy. Network inside military installations. We must begin an investigation to this matter immediately. Jeez, the things you guys missed. We defeated the three remaining Hakushu, plus the Tenkryu leader, Yurite, and we destroyed their fortress. Masato and Miku are fine. Thankfully, but Zio Reimer got pretty beat up. What are you going to do now, Masato? Zeo Reimer is, repaired, is being repaired as we speak. He'll be needed in future battles, after all. Oh, so the whole Zeo Reimer storyline's done now? I feel gypped. Does that mean that you're still up for fighting? Why? Well, isn't it for the best that he's sticking with us? Yes, my thoughts exactly. Well, well, talk about a change of heart. What makes you so sure that you won't revert back to being Masaki Zero, uh, Kirahara once again? You hop in the Zeo Reimer. That's in poor taste, Akatsuki. You can't spare even a little tap with Misato. Oh, pardon me. It's happened before, though. If memory serves, Misato Akatsu hated fighting. Am I mistaken? Now that the Tinkeryu is uh, no more, his will to fight should be gone as well. I'm naturally a little concerned, considering the circumstances. Well, Masato is. We'll see what happens when the time comes. Is that all right with you, Captain Remuse? Yes. That's yet another enemy down, then. By the way, is it true that four Tekka Men showed up? Yeah, that was a surprise. We thought Evil was the only one out there, but then three more jumped us. And you still claim you don't remember anything about them? Yes. D-Boy. Man, I give up. I'm sick of this. I'm just gonna hold up until you decide to tell us what you know. Despite the surprises, things turned out for the best, at least. Besides, it's not like there could be any more Tekka Men left to attack us, could there? Well, there is Omega, but uh, I don't think he told anything about that. Captain Misamaru, is it true that Co uh, Commander uh, Bozak has gone missing in action? M.I.A.? What's that? Or who's that? Captain, that's not... It stands for missing in action. It's how the military classifies people who have gone missing during a battle. Yeah, but usually just referring to an unconfirmed death in the field. Still, though... Color me shocked that you didn't know that already, Captain. Ah, oh, I gotcha. Well, by the time we arrived, Balzac was already M.I.A.? Nor was the only one left, and he was piling his Soul Tech Man. The Soul Tech Man number two? How the hell did you manage to get that? Well, you know, a bunch of stuff happened. That S.O.B. Balzac got his, his ass kicked by Tech Man Evil. I tried to stop him, but he hit evil head on and got rocked pretty hard. I don't think he got out of there alive. General Colbert gave you permission to use that Soul Tech Man, correct? Can you use it efficiently? You bet. I'm very pleased with its capabilities. As a matter of fact, no, if you pilot the Soul Tech Man, what's going to happen to Blue Earth? Aki and I can pilot it, right? You, I wonder. This isn't some kind of game, you know. Aw, oh, why do you have to say that? I've even had formal training. Man, I get how you um, I get how you ladies are. No matter what I say, you're gonna run off and do what you want anyway. Just to do don't do anything reckless, okay? By the way, you guys didn't fight just the Rodham, but also those mysterious enemies, right? Yes, we did. Since Calvina is right here, I guess we could assume you sent them intercepted them without any major problems. Or, given that look on your face, perhaps you couldn't take them down like you wanted. 
They ran away. I'll definitely finish him off next time, though. Don't let yourself get in too deep on your own, Calvina. About that, we may have some new information on those enemies. Masato, go ahead. Right. Wait, what's the meaning of this? What does Masato know about them? Would you believe me if I told you that it was something Masaki Kirahara knew? Masaki Kirahara? What do you mean? He was the one who built Zio Rhymer for Tinkryu. He's also my... Original, which from time to time took over my personality. Not that something, that not that that's something to worry about anymore. The point is, he knew about those unknown enemies. It's because he already knew about them that he was interested in, in going after the unknown technology in Cowswell. Those people. Whoa, seriously? He knew Masaki here, huh? I don't believe it. Masato. Tell us everything you know right this instant. Calvina, please calm down. Since this is all Masaki Kirahara's knowledge, I can't confirm the uh, veracity of the facts, but it happened some 17 years ago, when Masaki was developing the Dimensional Copler system. He stumbled upon something he called a singular point on the lunar surface. The Fury? That's what they called themselves. Masaki believed they reside. Resides, er... He says they reside inside the moon. The moon? He's talking about Earth's moon, right? I wonder why. Well, where they came from and how long they've been there are all unknown. They probably live there inside the moon, though. Also, they want to remove all, any and all uh, irregular life forms from the Earth, which they think of as their planet. In other words, they seek to complete obliteration of mankind, Masaki discovered. All this 17 years ago, and recognized them that they were an enemy that had to be defeated. Impossible, no matter who they are. We're the ones who are from Earth. Aren't they the aliens? Yeah, and their weapons are so powerful. Without Caswell, they'd be completely unbeatable, especially with that system of theirs. So if they really have been inside the moon this whole time, what did they start attacking now? I mean, they've had plenty of time to finish this off. Exactly! Besides, in addition to Caswell, there's also Katia and the others to consider. That's all I... That's all Masaki knew. I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed the final diagnosis is that those fury people are our enemies. And they might be inside the moon. Until we have access to the moon, we have no way of... Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Way of verifying the location. And it was obvious enough that they're our enemy, I think. In the end, we haven't learned much more about them. As for wanting to obliterate mankind, well, I think Orphan's the more immediate problem. That's because you're from brain power. Oh, you said it, man-child. <laughs> what the... Calvina? What's wrong? Has she gone off the deep end? I can't help myself. We haven't discovered anything new. And if what Masato says is true, then everything Alvon told me about being a captain in the Federation Space Forces... Hell, everything he told me about himself, period, was a lie. And then he was just... If I had only realized it sooner, then... Oh... A crack up, all right, an absolute laugh riot. Hey, I realize this might not be the best time, but please don't ask me to go to the moon at a time like this, okay? I won't, there's no need. They already said we would settle everything. I don't know when it will be, but he will come. All I have to do is wait. And you'll be sharpening your fangs in the meantime, is that it? But does that mean Caddy and the others were being held inside the moon? That's a good point. What do you say to that? I'm sorry, but we just don't remember. The only thing I can recall seeing was the blackness of space and stars. I never actually left the institute where we were being held before we escaped. Yeah, that's the only place I ever knew before we escaped. It was this huge building, but I never took a step, step out of it. Yes, me too. I never got a chance to see anything outside of that place. So that means they might be inside some kind of insulation built within the moon itself. You know, if we're talking about this inside of the moon, what could we possibly do to find them? That's assuming we didn't already have the Gondoshi to contend with. Yes, that's an excellent point, Commander. At any rate, that was everything I had to tell you about them. Their goal isn't just Cowswell. They're not only our enemy, but all of mankind as well. We have to defeat them. If you're right about the goal, then this is a war for our very existence. From here on out, Miku, and I will be the la at last guardian. 
We'll return as soon as we can. Alright, thank you. Okay, so I'll leave him for a while. Huh? Training? Yes, we're going to a special place to do so. Regular training just won't cut it. If we're going to improve ourselves, the proper atmosphere is needed. We mostly joined this force to battle the Devil Gundam and Master Asia, but we still need more training to prepare for whenever they decide to show up. And they certainly will. When the time comes, we want to be ready. You'll be leaving the base then? I assume you'll be fine, but... Fine, let's go, Rain. Uh, wait, Domon! Hold on. What? Don't tell me you're denying us. Oh, do as you please. We can't permit you to leave without knowing where you're go heading off to, though. I see. Are you going, then? Yes. I'm also worried about the Devil Gunner's movements, as he is now. It's impossible for him to be beat Master Asia. This is a gamble to see if I can make him grow. Oh, and also, how are the Rangers you mentioned coming along? They're still stuck in the works. With some luck, I should be finished soon. It may end up being necessary to our success. Can I rely on you to finish it? Of course, and in the meantime, Swords Brooder, don't get too concerned about this Dome and Kasha character and the Devil Gundam. That was not part of the promise I made. Perhaps, but thanks to you, things haven't been much easier. You have my gratitude. <laughs> you too, even the Shuffle Lines, or rather, the old Shuffle Lines, ended up helping us considerably. Yes, I believe it is now our job to develop the soil so that the one Joker called Seeds could bud and develop. I'm sure that they're the Earth Sphere and humanity's best chance to grow and develop well into the future. That's what I desire as well, so shall we go? Yes, what's Bruda? Oh, that smells good. Yeah, is that perfume? Hey, you two, do you know where D-Boy is? Huh, Aki? What's the matter? No, no, it's nothing. He's in the hangar helping adjust Pegasus. I see, thank you. Oh, what a surprise! Did you smell that? She was really using perfume. Never seen her do that before. Yeah, me neither. Uh-oh. Good job, I brought some coffee. Why don't we take a break? Yeah, thanks. Whoops, sorry. Gotta run to the bathroom. It's an emergency. The coffee's gonna get cold, Pops. Aki. What, D-Boy? I have to thank you. You're really... Oh, no. It, it's nothing. Thank you, Akian. Nice scent. D-Boy. I'm... Don't you love me? <laughs> Shining's already at its limit, but please hold on for just a little longer. I have to do my best for Domun's sake. Something wrong, Rain? Huh? N nothing. I wonder how everyone else is doing. There's no need to worry about them. What you should be concerned about is Shining's output. It's dropped like a rock. You should look into it. I'm going down a river. Uh, I'm going down river a little in the meantime. Honestly, does he have any common sense at all? Domo, don't get too close to the rotom trees. Ha! <laughs> what the the tree? Too slow, Domo. Wake up! I can see your openings clear as day. Totally has changed Swords Bruder's voice. <laughs> Who are you? It's me, Domon. What? I've met you before. You told me you're a Swartz Bruder, right? What are you doing here? What do you want with me? I've heard that you and your friends were training come came to take a look. In the end, it's obvious that you don't have the skills to beat the Devil Gundam. No, you won't even be able to defeat Master Asia at this rate. What? Who the hell are you? Why are you so concerned about me? You know, from the beginning, you've been downright obsessed with... Those questions are no consequences. As, as you just showed me, Domon, you still lack the power to achieve your goals. What do you know? Stop lecturing me. Huh, <laughs> so you're confident in your skills? Then how about asking this blade where your abilities lie? This blade? It can't be. You cut down that tree with this rusty blade? Indeed. <laughs> Back down now, Domo. That's all you can do in the end, isn't it? <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. Take a good look. It won't cut. Do you want to beat the Devil Gundam Domo? No, Master Asia. If you want to do more than settle here and lament the sorry state of your skills, then forge yourself, Domo Kashu. But be wary, there's not much time left. Ha! 
He's gone. Schwartz Bruder. What's up? He what's he up to? Yeah, this is the episode. I'm not going to spoil it or anything, but I know the episode of uh, G Gundam. This is the like the towards the finale of the first season of G Gundam. Ha! The arms response is so lax. What the hell is Rain doing? It's it it isn't the fault of you. Uh, the regulations, Domon. It's all you. You can't yet yield the wield, or you can't yet wield the blade. Swartz. Do you think you can defeat both the Devil Gun and Master Asia with that? I can. What does that what does that blade know? With my super mode, I can even become master. Haha, <laughs> fool! Your super mode is your greatest weakness. It won't defeat him. What? What did you say? Your super mode runs on anger, clotting your heart and binding you from perceiving the truth. That kind of trick won't work on him. As if I have to stand here and listen to this nonsense. You're getting in the way of my training. If you don't believe me, then why don't you put it to the test? What? <laughs> Schwartz, what are you doing? What's the matter, Domo Kashu? At this rate, you're going to die. You have to co uh, come at me with everything you got. What are you up to, Schwartz? Don't tell me or... I dare you to show me. Let me see what that super mode you talk so take so much pride in can do. Ah, uh, damn you! If that's what you want, then I'll fight you here. Here I come. This hand of mine glows with an awesome power. Its burning grip tells me to defeat you. Die, shining finger! <laughs> What's the matter, Domon Kashu? Im impossible! He repelled my shining finger so easily. It seems you can now see your limits. Domo, do not seek this false state of anger. Seek instead the true super mode. The true super mode? Swartz, what do you mean? It's something you must find inside yourself. Let go of your anger and confusion. The technique lies within your soul. All right, here I come. Wait, wait, Swartz! If you can't do it, then you'll die, Domo. If you want to save yourself, then reach inside and unleash your true potential. Come on, come on, come on! Swartz, what are you doing? What's wrong, Domoon? Having trouble? Ah! Giving up already, Domoon? In that case, rest in peace. He he's for real. Swartz is really going to kill me, but why? What? What's this feeling? Kyoji? Father? Mother? Master? It's all passing before me. My anger. My hatred. I've let go of both. All that's left is the end. And there's... Rain? I can see it! What is this light? My crest. It, it's shining! You finally found it, Domon. Swartz, what is this? A serene state of mind. Listen, it's a mindset without any confusion or ill intent. Known as the clear water of tranquility. It holds the power to co overcome any obstacle. The real super mode? You did all this to teach it to me? Why, Schwartz? Why are you so interested in me? That doesn't matter. Hang on to this state of mind, Domon. Never forget. It's the only way to beat Master Asia. H hey, wait! He's gone again. The clear water of tranquility, huh? Schwartz. Just who are you? What? Something bothering you, Domon? I saw Swartz and wanted to ask, thank him for Raymond. Where's he gone off to? Uh, well... Wait, you felt it too, didn't you? Looks like they're surrounding us, bro. The Devil Army! The Death Army? It can't be. Why would they... No! Yeah, if they're here, then that thing's nearby too. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm going tired of waiting. It would be excellent if they finally showed, decided to show up. Let's sell everything here and now and show them how much we hate being manipulated. Yes, it's a good chance to test our new techniques. Yes, let's go, Domo. Okay, let's crush them. Come out, da uh, Master Asia. You too, Kyoji. Don't be impatient, Domo. We don't even know if they're here. What we do know is that the Death Army is here to lure us in. It's the oldest trick in the book, and one I used during my space pirate days. Send a lure and a, 
a distraction, then take your main forces to attack somewhere else. I see. A fight with Cautionary Edge, huh? Okay, then. So we're in super mode right now, as you can see. Uh, these guys all have new attacks. If you watch the anime, Domon actually, uh, well, they don't have it until they go into super mode, of course, but, uh, yeah, Domon has a little train episode with each of them, you know, bond growing and stuff like that. I mean, he has an episode with them alongside them having an episode with a recurring character. Like, uh, I think, uh, I think one's, uh, I'm totally probably wrong, but Argo and Sai Sai Shi and uh, Chippity and uh, George, but I could totally be wrong, so don't quote me, guys, or if you want to correct me, feel free to put it in the, uh, the old, uh, whatchamacallit, you guys are going to use, like, your beam attacks, aren't you? But yeah, put it in the old Comet, Comet scene and everything like that, so. We're going underwater, because we're going to swim into the deep blue sea. Oh god, it sounds horrible. Do I get this get Okay, I do, I do get a defense bonus right there. Well, since they like using long range beam attack, what are you using? Yay, beam rifle. Is that all you can use right now, Chippy? Yeah, go ahead and use it. Let's take advantage of the water. <coughs> My throat is a little scratchy. Ha uh, ha uh, ha, uh, it's in damage, bitch. Yeah, come at me, man. Burning punch, fire! Go Team America, baby. Well, technically, it's go Team One Guy, named Chibity Crockett. Living the New York dream. Right on, baby. Okay, who's next? You're actually going to use a metal pole, so you're smart, at least. Countercut, yeah! Aha, barrier, yay. Critical on you. Aha, take that. Come at me, guys. Do your worst. Cyclone punch! It's a little early to say that, but, <laughs> you know. It's never too early to say a attack name. Yeah, you guys are barely hurting. Chibity. Too bad I was too close to with uh, Sai Saishi, so he kind of got nailed really hard. But we'll be able to clear him off, so it shouldn't be a problem. Ouch. Very, very good. Uh, you're going to use your beam rifle. I don't want to use too much energy on you now. So cycle and punch it. My turn. Do you, you have alert, focus, focus. Yeah, we're going to use focus for the shit and giggles of it. The shit and giggles of it. Will anybody... Okay, so if I put you right here, you will counter or you will support with him. There we go. Well, you're dead. Yeah, I'm kind of in the animation mood, and plus, we're getting towards the end of the video anyway, so... Might as well show up as much as we can, because this whole episode is pretty much dialogue. Though, I enjoyed it, because, well, I like G Gundam. I'm happy we're finally getting to this part in the anime. <laughs> this is one of my favorite uh, chapters in the anime, the, towards the end of the first season. It's amazing. There we go, got rid of you. Argol, why don't you go ahead and smack him? There we go. My headphones, for some reason, keep falling off my head. My head's gotten smaller. No! And the big old Hevo. Oh. And you go boom. Not too bad. Now, I do want to kind of get away, uh, further away from... Well, if I move you right here, can you attack? Yes, you can. Let's do this. Come on, Chibity. Fighting uh, Knuckle. 
You're looking a little flabby. <laughs> I love that. It's awesome. And you're probably going to counter with, yep, your beam. I expected that. Well, I dodged it. Apparently, I'm on land right now, so I would have got hit a little bit there. Yeah, that's fine. Domo will take care of him. Let's do it, Domo. Beam saber time. Ooh, nice. And the kill. It's a zombie soldier, or a DG soldier. I, I prefer them to call him a DG soldier. I mean, Devil, Gundam, Cell. You know all that crap. Going after Sasashi. Support defense. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh, nice level up too. Huh. Uh, no, Sasashi doesn't. Oh, you missed too. Nice. That makes everything so much better. Counter. Ooh, got hit finally. Hey, go ahead. You're going to just use your. Okay. Oh, you're flying still. God damn it. I forgot about that. No wonder. Derp, derp, derp. Okay, you're not flying. Apparently, you just can't get in the water. Uh, did I put something on him, or... I'm curious about that now. We'll use Burning Punch. Ah, uh, no need to use Burning Punch. Fighting Spirit. Dead. George can go ahead and start actually using... Uh, rose bits on these guys. Go ahead. Boom. Valor. Nice, George. Really nice. Learn Valor and Super Mode. Now, let's look at his attacks. Look, he gained a new one. Bullet Machine Gun Punch. I'm pretty sure that's what it stands for. Pretty sure. Domone kills. Boom. Super mode. Uh-oh. Domone. They finally came. No, that's not them. What the hell? More of the Devil Gundam's agents? Please wait, Domone. There's a chance they're being controlled by the DG cells, just like we were. But we can't do anything about that. Yeah, we were saved by the Shovel Alliance. There's no way we can do the same thing for someone else. I don't know who they are, but the only thing we can do is put them out of their misery. Right, Domon? No need to ask. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> long time no see, Domon Kashu. What? No. Uh, Mitchell, uh, yeah, Mikolo. And the other one's Chapman. What a surprise. I was sure you have died. It appears you've now become an agent of the Devil Gundam. Is this all a result of the DG cells? So you're with, uh, so you're also being controlled by Devil Gundam? Controlled? This may be the case for the late Chapman, but I submit to its rule out of my own free will. What, Mikolo? You sold yourself. <laughs> what, Mikolo? You sold yourself to the devil? Thanks to that, I've acquired such incredible strength. You suckers better prepare yourselves. I have plenty of power to stove down your throats. Uh, yeah. Super Express delivery! That was really girly. The Archangel and the Desco. What the hell are they doing here? We can explain later. First, we have to beat the bad guys. Okay, guys. Let's start moving out. Uh, Leather. Let's see who else I want to go. Boulder. Uh, do I even have a healer at all here? It doesn't look like I do. So let me... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Who do I not need here? Um... Well, I do have... Okay, I do have Baldy, but actually, you know what? Blue Earth, you'll be even more handy. Sorry, Blade, but you're taking the back seat this time, buddy. Because I want to show off the uh, unit that uh, Kixie wanted to see. So, uh, here I am, and I am... Doing it for you, buddy. Let's see what we can do now. 
scramble. But anyway, guys, that's the end of all of I'm going to do in this one. I'd like to thank you as always for watching, and see you next time.